Aru. Today we are coming live from Sandy Creek Park in Athens, Georgia, and we have with us the Imperial Grand Potentate himself, Dr. Malachi Z. York, the man that has made it possible for the Nuwabian nation to be established throughout the world. He has touched many hearts and has opened many minds to the truth. So without further ado, here's Dr. Malachi Z. York. Just a few questions, sure. and first of all, to say thank you for making it possible for me to be here and to know as much as I do know at this time. Yes, do my job. All right. I want to say congratulations on y your new title as Imperial Grand Potentate. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what it means to us as Nuwabian people? Um, it, I wouldn't say it means anything as, as to, to Nuwabian people per se, but yeah. in the Masonic world, right. after you finish traveling, if you make the decision that you want to go over into the shrine mm -hmm. and cross that desert, then you do that. If you want to stay there and climb higher and higher, then you, uh, you uh, take on different titles, you know, depending on what you do for the shrine. And the people, I'm more concerned with the Afro um, Masonic lodges and the Afro shrine because there is a split in Freemasonry between the whites and the blacks. And they have the whites have blacks pledging to them when in actuality the first Freemason was Nimrod, son of Kush, the Ethiopian, and we, they should be getting their charters from us. So I'm barely here to set the record straight. And I think it's time for Freemasons, I think it's time for us to come forward because we're getting a bad name because of things that Caucasian Masons are doing, like Albert Pike and Albert Mackey and them, with their books, Moral Dogma, where they give praise to Lucifer. And now Freemasons worldwide, they're being thought of as Satanic and all that. And I think it's time for us to step up and let people know what we're allowed to let them know about our fraternity, right, but to set the record straight. You know what I'm saying? Okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, how do you think the rest of the world views us with your new title as well? Well, I think that, um, first of all, it smashes the cult concept. Uh, as Freemasons and Shriners, we were trying not to make that public. But because we kept getting slapped in the face with cult this, cult that, cult that, then we had to say, as you can see, it says Nuwapian Grand Lodge. Okay. It's not just a chapter, it's a Grand Lodge. Right? And our temples are going to spread across the country. Mm -hmm. And so it's now, in other words, time for us to come forward and let people know that the, the, the slander mm -hmm. that they keep saying that the cult isn't called that, unless all Freemasons worldwide are a cult, then we're not a cult. Okay. You the Can you tell me what's the difference between a Grand Lodge and a chapter? Uh, yeah, a Grand Lodge is more like saying a mother or father lodge. And beneath it, you can have different chapters or uh, different, uh, they have numbers, literally. You know what I'm saying? And these numbers will designate a certain, have a name over it, like the Amos Lodge in um, Macon, Georgia, or the uh, Enoch Lodge in New York, or the King Solomon Lodge, etc. And, but they'll have a grand lodge above that, which issues charters to subsidiaries. Mm -hmm. uh, black people seem a bit concerned about the election of President Bush. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you think this will affect black people in general? Frankly speaking, I think uh, President Bush is a good president. I'm not saying that I didn't like Clinton. Right. I like Clinton because he was a black president, you know, okay. the, one, the, not the first, but one of the, first, one of the first black presidents. But um, I like uh, the way Bush deals. I've always been a Republican. Okay. And that's difficult when I socialize with most Democrats. Yes. If, if I look. And so um, I think what President Bush is doing, the way he's handled himself, and the way he's even dealing with foreign uh, affairs, I don't know about the economics yet because it's taking a little time for us to get, you know, adjusted to the seats. But I think he's a good president. I think he's going to prove himself to be a good president. Yeah, okay. So we don't really have much to worry about. No, we, well, we, we don't have nothing to worry about regardless of who's in office because, you know, a bird with a, a white, with a right wing or left wing is still on the same bird. So we, we ain't gonna, and we, until we are in, we're not in. Mm -hmm. If all the racism is going on, you see what's going on in Cincinnati? Absolutely. It's going to continue. That's, that was my next question, yeah. actually. What's happening in Cincinnati? Do you think the racist behavior of the people in Putnam County, Howard Stills, and all his cahoots. Do you think that kind of thing could erupt in Eatonton?